We had a comment from one of our YouTube viewers asking, how do you paint things that are white? Well, a lot of people have that question. One thing that white does is act as a mirror. It reflects color. And another thing that white does it, is it's made up of subtle, subtle gradations of value. But it's the thing, that, the characteristic that reflects color that seems to baffle folks most. So let me show you just a quick little technique, something that you might try to get you into working with things that are white. And you might be able then to discover some things that would enable you to take it even further. So I'm going to start out with, first of all, value. Now, just a simple white bowl here, photograph of white bowl. Um, and so let's just look at value. Now, when we think of value, what's in shadow and what's not in shadow. In this white bowl, the things that are in shadow, it's a very shallow shadow. So I'm going to start out just with value. And uh, just with this is just a gradation of black and white. That's all just for the exercise to get you going. So I'm going to start out with Velia, and I'm going to start out with an area that I call a very shallow shadow. And so right in here, um, and I've got a little drawing here, right in here we have a shallow shadow. And then we have a shadow reflecting light right here. And so we can show that right in here, make that a little bit lighter, the shallow shadow a little bit lighter. It's, it's, it's actually lighter as it comes down right here like that. And then as it goes back, it's reflecting more light. So we can pick up more light as it's going further in that direction. Let's get us a little gradation going in here. And let's get a gradation going in here. And then we see it reflecting more light right here. So then we'll just pull that down right there and we get that gradation. Gradation is what enables you to see it around. And then the same thing happens over here. We have it in shadow. I've lost my little cast shadow there. Let's put that back in. Here we go. So then we have this, this shadow area of the bowl that's reflecting light. And let's get that little the shadow a little bit darker. A lot of folks don't want to get white when they're painting white. They don't want to get the shadow areas dark enough. And so that's one thing I want to emphasize in this little exercise. And so we have a cast shadow down there, but let's just concentrate on the bowl. Then it's still in shadow back in here, but that shadow is reflecting light. Now pay attention to that word reflecting. What reflects, mirrors reflect. White or anything shiny is going to reflect. It's going to reflect light. It's going to reflect color. So just we're just getting the gradation here. Just a very, very uh, simple gradation. First of all, and then we'll show you show you what we mean by reflecting light and reflecting colors. Let's get a little bit more of the cast shadow. All right, now inside the bowl we have shadow more. We have shadow again. Um, and so I'm just going to write in here to sort of define that shadow we see inside the bowl. That shadow is being caused by the where the bowl is and in, in relationship to the light. And uh, then we have then we have shadow, uh, some shadow at the bottom of that bowl right in here that's reflecting, wait a minute, right here, now, right in there that's reflecting light as it comes up and it's reflecting light and it gets then very light as it gets to the top. So we'll just make that happen and uh, let's go ahead and grab the very light as it gets to the top. Now see I haven't even talked about the color yet but right now it's important that you understand the, the gradation of the value or the value of white, how white behaves as a as a, uh, how value of white behaves, or value on white behaves, and so let's see. Now I need to pull that all that out of the brush because that's very light, right there. Um, let's get some. Just I'm just going to get white on the brush. Believe it or not, right in here. And as it comes around next to that cast shadow right there, I uh, picked up too much value from the um, from the palette. Let's see, right in here. And then that gets very light right in there, right in there. And then, all right, so now let's just use some stroke stuff to kind of smooth it out. Then we see around the rim of the bow, we see more light reflecting, like right in there, just kind of sort of like that. And that's it. Let's get this a little more precise. But now, there's just a very rough uh, rendition of what's happening with the value 
with the way the light and shadow is behaving within the ball. Let's just get that a little bit more defined there. And uh, let me put that shadow in just a little bit more right in here because that does matter right in there. Okay. Um, all right. Now let's look at the uh, white as reflecting color. It's going, the whatever white object you have, doesn't make any difference what it is, whether it is a shiny object or something like clothing um, it, or, or an animal's fur or whatever it is, it's going to be reflecting the color around it. Color around it's going to reflect onto it. Now one way to show that is to show it with, um, with, with uh, very low intensity colors. So I'm seeing a lot of yellow and blue reflected around that. And, uh, and so if we use very low intensity yellows, for example, yellow ochre, or even a, a very light, light version of raw sienna. Now right here I have a yellow, a very, very uh, low intensity yellow, I'm going to make it even lower, that I made, I created by mixing um, hence a yellow light, this is the Utrecht hence a yellow light, and uh, with, with um, doxing uh, purple. So by mixing those together, I get a very low intensity. Now what I want to do, is remember it this way. Usually, uh, not always, but this is a good way to start. Usually things that are in light, white that is in light, will, will be reflecting warm colors, or will be, be reflecting the colors as warmer, and in shadow, uh, as cooler. But the mixture of warm and cool is what gives that wonderful, um, that wonderful color feeling that we find in, in things that are white. So I'm just going to simply take a little bit of this, uh, I'm going to scumble just a little bit of this, uh, this um, very low intensity mixture of yellow here at the same value. Just going to scumble some of that in right in here. Scumble it right over the gray. Now I'm going to take a little bit of, uh, uh, going back into the, the purple and a little bit of the blue. I'm going to kind of cool a little bit and let's just kind of mix those together. The cool and the warm. The cool and the warm. Let's go on the other side. Now I, I see it is actually reflecting cool because that's in the shadow. So um, let's get that a little bit cooler, a little cooler and darker right in there, the cool. And as that would be right in here, it's reflecting it cooler, reflecting the light cooler. That made that darker, so I'm going to lighten that up a little bit, but still keep that light cool. A very cool, light, light right in here, right there. That's more like it. Now we begin to get that cool, warm, cool, warm. Now we let's just scumble some of the warm. If, if we have this at very low intensity, you have the warm and the cool more cool than warm in the shadow area or well it let's not make any rules about that let's just say however the light happens to be reflecting we can see there we can see there how that we begin then to have a feeling of color you might even have other colors reflecting let's get a little bit of a let's get a bit a, little, a redder a little redder color same value keep it the same value and let's have a little bit more of a kind of a red reflecting in here into the cool, and we see how that, that kind of acts as a mirror image. Now, if I go on the inside of the of the vase of the bowl, I go on the inside, and I'll go with a very very light yellow. And this is the 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 very this is a low intensity light yellow. And let's just reflect some of that in here, and see how that causes that feeling of of white the white bowl. And let's see, it's even brighter over here. And let's use a little bit more of a stroke that defines roundness there. And then let's go into the cooler colors, even maybe violet or a little bit of a mixture of violet and blue. We do want to keep those low intensity because it's the low intensity. I'm going to go in with a little bit of that gray to lower that intensity there. It's the lower intensity that, that uh, white reflects. And let's just, let's just put um, a little bit of that right in here. There we go. Now that gives us the color, the lower intensity color, and that begins to feel a little bit more like white. Now I'm going to go with, um, this is very rough as you can see, but maybe it gives you then the, the um, approach. An approach 
to begin to work with colors reflecting on white. I uh, want to go now to the very light. Come down in here the very light. Pick up, um, pick up just a little bit of a, more of an orangey color. And now I'm going to make that as light as I can get it. There we go. And that feels like sun, feels like light reflecting. And uh, we'll just give this right there, like that, along that lighter portion of the bowl. And it wouldn't hurt, wouldn't hurt to actually throw some of that right like that in there. And uh, a little bit more like that. Well, let's see. Maybe a little bit more like that. And then let's look on the side where it's reflected more light, a little bit more like that. So you see, we can continue to work. Let's go a little bit more right here. Um, oh, I want to do one more thing before I close out the, the, the quick tip, and that is, um, oh, let's make this a little bit cooler. I want, uh, I want a little bit more of the cast shadow there. Now, if we go back into the, the, the gray, the darker of the gray, and a tiny bit of blue in there, that the gray lowers the intensity of blue. And a tiny bit of the blue, maybe a little bit of the purple. Anyway, just need it cooler. And then we can create that, see the cast shadow there, which helps give it more of the depth that we're seeing. There we go, like that. And then, of course, I want to give it that cast shadow at the bottom. And so this is a very quick, um, of course, that's the, the cast shadow on the surface. But a little bit of that reflects up into the, the ball itself. So that gives you a very quick idea of uh, what you might do to reflect uh, uh, when you're painting when you're painting something that is the color white. If you enjoy this quick tip, uh, try uh, taking a look at our video lessons on dyingmice.com. You might find something there that you would enjoy even more. There's your quick tip.